really walking a thin line here. Loud buzzing means I'm in a place that has power. So that place over there is clearly active. Some of this just looks a little too perfect, you know? I mean, like, I don't even want to go back there. I'm just afraid someone's gonna like pop up out of nowhere. It may as well just be like an urban infiltration trip. Yo, what's good? We're back at it again here on this Louisville trip. Now I'm standing right next to this large warehouse style facility that to my knowledge had two different uses going on, possibly simultaneously, back before it was left to the state it is today. Over on this side closest to me, I know it used to be like a recycling center, kind of scrapyard kind of deal. And way further down through a longer stretch of like warehouses used to be like a cardboard box like manufacturing facility of some sort i swear from over here it looks like i can see a door just hanging wide open so if i can get around this fence somehow then this might be one of those rare actually easy to get into louisville spots i think this building here is non-related but it also looks kind of abandoned i just got to go around it to get back there otherwise i'd have to crawl under a gate and I'd rather not do that in broad daylight. What is that? No, not the bunny. I mean the giant wheel thing. That's kind of cool. I gotta be careful of this place next to me here though. That's like an active facility and you can literally hear people working so I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like sprint across this wide open field just to get to my place. At least the fence is down right here. And fun fact, that over there it's been taken out now, but kind of next to that little mobile thing was the old scale. So between those slabs of concrete, there would have been like a big scale that people would have driven up on, and it would have weighed their load of like scrap metal. And that's how, uh, that's how it was judged, how much money they should get for it. I know that because I went to one once. That was back when I was testing out to see how much money I could make just from like aluminum cans. And my consensus is you're better off just getting a regular job. All right, I'm just gonna sprint this thing. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't see a place where it connects. This building is kind of just its own thing. Now we're back to square one. I gotta find an alternate way in. Cause that right there is the main facility. Maybe I could get this to open? Bingo, okay. Do you hear that? Loud buzzing means I'm in a place that has power. Might be that box up there. Oh my god, look, even the exit sign's on. All that insulation. Where'd the wall go? Okay, so anyway, we're kind of in an in-between zone. Over to our right of us in this building was where I said it was like that cardboard box company. To our left would be what the recycling scrapyard center was. At least all the buildings are going to connect. Because I can see through into the next one over there. That's good. I'm not so sure going up there would be a very good idea. I'll try my luck on this rickety, already collapsing staircase. Look at those spider webs. Ooh. Don't like it. Don't like it. Just blue barrels and tires. Look at all the animal footprints. Raccoons and stuff. Wow, this place is giant. And I'm looking at it from the side view though. I'm looking at it perpendicular though. Like in that direction, it goes like even twice as far. So like. This place is gonna be like huge. That whole thing is slanted. This must have been just been built like terribly. Okay. Oh. My legs are so sore. There's been so much running and jumping and climbing on this trip. My legs are just completely dead at this point. Caps. No cap. Looks like we're about to enter like the biggest main warehouse. Wow. It's like big and empty, but like 
that's those sun rays are like beautiful there's definitely stuff over there though I can see it listen oh there it was there's a beeping and over there is where there's power I actually forgot for a second there was power here so that place over there is clearly active even though this is all part of like the same general facility I'm gonna get behind one of these beams here just in case there's someone over there because look I'm gonna zoom in on this it's fenced off so since this is all part of the same warehouse system but was two different companies I guess the the cardboard box place fenced itself off from the rest of this so I guess I was right in that breakdown of what these places were but this is gonna get really interesting I feel like I've been saying it in like every single one of these Louisville videos at this point but it just keeps on being relevant it keeps happening again this is like the weirdest string of videos I've ever filmed like what is it about the city like I've seen ones kind of like this I guess over there they're like only really half abandoned I've seen ones that were like part of active facilities but they just didn't use the buildings stuff like that of course you saw a couple weeks ago I straight up got caught because this big crazy place had like active cameras and everything like this trip has had everything except for just normal spots this is really cool though because this half was the recycling center and like scrapyard these are all like certain types of materials I guess that they have up probably using these as examples for like what they have here you know what they take either that or they just have a bunch of garbage up there trying to convince their workers to pick up after themselves if there's power what if no no water this still has stuff in it that look do you see all that still hand sanitizer in there wow this place was abandoned recently look it's talking about COVID-19 that was more of like a 2020 thing and it's it's talking about masks and stuff there's another office door it is so warm in here why is it so warm in just this room all right so you know i keep talking about potentially maybe going over there and seeing what's up with like the active side with the lights on and power and everything but first i'm going to check out the rest of the uh, recycling center side because even though it looks to be like big empty warehouse I think there's still a lot of space over here I think I was a little mistaken there's not quite as much room over here as I thought this is where it ends as far as the recycling place side yeah somebody tried to make an entrance there so they solved it by putting this big block in their way the camera was off I swear I just heard like a door open way down somewhere that way and I got all my stuff out I need to put this up fast. Might just be wind, I don't know. But you can hear that, right? Yeah, that's probably just wind. Okay. I don't know, it's just weird, because I wasn't hearing noises before. Still, there's no sign of anyone. I don't know. That is so cool. Look what I just noticed. They still have tons of like aluminum cans stuck up here on the side. Those must have gotten like mist when they cleaned the place up. Even when I already come in here knowing what a place used to be, it's really like vindicating to find proof that it really was, you know? Well, I've stayed back. I've kept a safe distance from it thus far, but I think it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's been a reoccurring theme this entire Louisville trip if you've been keeping up with it. But it's time to go try to sneak into the somewhat active section. Why am I walking dead center? Like, why am I not hugging the walls or staying behind the beams? I don't know what those are. Just regular pallets of random cardboard? I don't know what's in there. What's that? That like sounds like something else just kicked on. Something in there. Hmm. 
Nope. 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 Don't feel like messing with that. What was that? I can't even get in. Wait, never mind. What on earth is this? Right over there is that like active wood company. But I like this little segue area with this stairway. That they had all these like fake plants down here. It's weird. I'm pretty sure the building goes on for longer than this. Yeah, see there's more building down there. But I think I may have to go back down and around to the other side. I guess all that stairway did was take you up here. Right above the weird cardboard pallet area. I'm gonna close this back up the way it was. Man, I think the only way into the other place may just be through this chain link fence. I don't know if I wanna do that. I even see like vehicles in there. That's so funny, I could like charge my phone if I wanted to right here at one of my locations. Keeps going, just old office space. We got one desk left. What is all this? I'm gonna have to like crawl under it. I'm crawling on my hands and knees right now. Okay, well, this is what's over there. Very suspicious. If I wanna get out of here like fast at all, I'm gonna have no other option but to just climb over these things. Cause that took me way too long to just crawl through there like that. I don't know, man. Some of this just looks a little too perfect, you know? They have an entire semi in here. And a trailer. This Louisville trip may as well just be like an urban infiltration trip. The electric uh, forklift things. That one's blinking. I don't know, I just, I don't want to stay here too long. Even if it's void of anyone. I'm just afraid someone's gonna like pop up out of nowhere at any moment. There's big pallets of cardboard. But there's also just big pallets of like regular wood. I don't even want to go back there. What are these? What what are these used for? What is that machine for? Something would obviously slide under there on that conveyor belt. And at this point I've made it like all the way to the end. Like this is it. That's as far as this will go. I don't know, if this was a cardboard box place, I was under the impression that they just boxed things like packages. Maybe they actually made the boxes themselves here. Whoa. What on earth is this thing? It's massive. I don't know, man, but I, I'm just stumbling onto some weird stuff here. Wood Machinery Manufacturers of America. Huh. Maybe this place is, was also kind of used as like a wood place, not just cardboard. Not to mention we're also surrounded on both sides by other wood companies. I am ready to be gone because I'm really walking a thin line here. I really don't want to crawl over or under all that metal stuff. This is another one of those big things of machinery. It's got like its own like computer system though, it's pretty cool. What are the odds this will open if I try it? Oh, I'm gonna have a long way to go to get back without someone else from the other wood place seeing me though. But it does open. May as well use it. Oh, there's even a worker right now. I'm gonna wait till he goes like a different direction that isn't within this line of sight. And just hug the building. There's actually a second worker there. 
Luckily, I'm out of his line of sight now, though. Let's just walk nonchalant. We're about to be off the premises anyway. Okay, we're not doing anything wrong. Okay. Well, that's that. That's, that's the whole spiel, the whole shebang. We did the thing, we got the place explored. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've been enjoying all of these really weird uh, Louisville videos. And of course, I will see you next week.